Operation Odyssey Dawn struck with quick might. France and Britain campaigned for the military offensive into Libya, but it was America that led the way. Firing hundreds of Tomahawk missiles against President Muammar Gaddafi's tanks, compounds, and Libyan air defenses. Nearly one week after waging war, no country has been able to clarify a clear goal or exit strategy for Libya. It is U.S. policy that Gaddafi needs to go. Not so, insists coalition partner Britain. No, absolutely not. It's not allowed um, under the U.N. resolution. Sold as a humanitarian intervention to protect Libyan civilians from Gaddafi's firepower, Allied airstrikes are now being blamed for mounting casualties. There is also little sign of anti-Gaddafi forces gaining much traction, with only a few government forces switching sides. As for the 22 Arab countries that push for the no-fly zone, their military is nowhere to be found. Only Qatar put up a handful of warplanes, prohibited from flying too close to Libya. Meanwhile, Obama says the U.S. will hand over control of the mission. But to whom? NATO countries are mired in disagreement from the Brits and French to... The Turks have already said that uh, all they want is a no-fly zone, nothing more than that. The Germans are now stating that they are removing their navy from NATO control. So it seems like this is quite a muddled job indeed. With the cost of this odyssey at a reported $100 million per day, U.S. lawmakers want some answers. We would have asked, uh, what is the intelligence that we have uh, when Secretary Gates uh, leaves us to believe that he doesn't know Plan B? Uh, we would have pursued that. Just last month, U.S. Defense Secretary Robert Gates publicly opposed American military intervention in Libya, a third U.S. war he's now forced to defend. This command and control business is complicated. And <clears throat> we haven't done something like this kind of on the fly before. Uh, and, and so it's not surprising to me that it would take uh, a few days to get it all sorted out. Also hard to sort out is U.S. Senator John McCain's position on Libya. The Republican repeatedly called for Gaddafi's removal. He had the blood of Americans just on his hands uh, because he was responsible for the bombing of Pan Am 103. Yet just 18 months ago, McCain was in Tripoli peddling American military equipment and shaking hands with the Libyan leader and his son. We intend to do everything we can to help ensure that the relations between our countries deepen. Right now, the rift couldn't be further apart, as Gaddafi vows to fight fire with fire. In the short term, we will beat them. In the long term, we will beat them. Nearly one week after spearheading a military intervention into another Arab country, the U.S., U.K., and France are coming under increasing pressure to explain the end game of this scenario. What is happening in Libya? Who is in charge? What does victory mean? And when will this new and third U.S.-backed mission finally be accomplished? Marina Portnaya, RT, New York.